Alright, new party guys, and so welcome to episode 19, I believe, of this Arsenal. 19 or 20? What damn, I forgot. Episode something is Arsenal career mode, where our first game will be in a Champions Cup against Fibonacci, the Turkish team. Anyway, the, 14, the four games we will be playing are Fibonacci, the North London Derby against Tottenham Hotspurs, and White Hart Lane. And in the first round of the EFL Cup against Liverpool, and in Sunderland home. So I'm probably going to sim that game because it is a home game, plus there's Sunderland. So, yeah, those are the four games that I'm going to be playing today. Um, well, we're going to start off with Fibonacci right now. So, hopefully, this is the first game of the Champions Cup, the group stage. And just look at that group stage, man. Enter Fibonacci and Spectrum Moscow. Hopefully, we will we get three points here and we can top the group already by just one game. And I completely forgot that Robin Van Persie, a former Arsenal... Well, I don't want to say if they're a legend because, you know, he went to fucking... He went to freaking, uh... To Manchester United, and then from Arsenal, so I, I'm not sure if he's considered an Arsenal legend to y'all Gooners, but anyway, yeah, so, if Robin Van Persie, if he plays, he's gonna come back to the Emirates for this game, so I don't know if that's gonna be bad for y'all Gooners, considering he left Arsenal to go to Manchester United, so, <laughs> I don't know if you any Arsenal fans that are watching this, you're gonna have mixed reviews about that. So anyway, here we go. Arsenal versus Fibonacci. Man, I wish they had the license and I just pressed start on accident. I wish EA had the license. If only they could buy it when when the contract terminates with Pez, but I know that's going to cost them a lot of money. But anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. And that is the four teams that are in the Champions Cup. I believe you already saw that, but here we go. Arsenal versus Fibonacci in the first game of the Champions Cup. We kick it off. Let's go. Anyway, here comes Eden Hazard. Eden Hazard off to Cazola. Cazola, he scores it. Beautiful, beautiful Cazola. From Eden Hazard to Asante Cazola. Why did I... Okay, so Asante Cazola is making me really have mixed reviews right now. Because if you do remember, if you do recall, I put him on a transfer list. And nobody was offering a contract. Uh, an offer. So maybe that's his, this is a sign that I should keep Asante Cazola. Because he's a fucking beast. Well, maybe I might keep him. It depends on how he plays until the January transfer window. But right now, he, he looks like a keep. Anyway, here comes Hector Bellerin. Pass it off to Cazola. Cazola, oh no, that is a bad pass. That is, anyway, here, here comes Fibonacci. Fibonacci so attacking here. No, don't score. Don't please, please, please. Oh. Man, well, in the 50th minute mark, we just conceded the first goal. And it is now 1-1. Thankfully, that wasn't Robin Van Persie, but... To be honest, that doesn't really matter because a draw, I feel like I played really bad in that game. As you can see there, they had way more shots. They had nice shots. <laughs> LaFon just hit the hell out of... <laughs> LaFon just punched the hell out of Robin Van Persie's head. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, yeah, as you can see the shots there, I, really, I played really bad. So, it's probably because I changed the, um, the game speed of fast. And I felt like everything was just going too fast, man. I just couldn't catch up with everything that was happening. Robin Van Persie, well, not Robin Van Persie, Fab and were like going left and right, left and right, left and right, super fast. And I was like, oh, yo, calm your tits. So I might switch it back to normal because I think uh, having it on fast is a little bit too fast for me. Anyway, we got a player injured. We did get a player injured. I think it was Aaron Ramsey. Yes, Aaron Ramsey got injured that game for about like four months, three months. So it's going to be pretty bad. I'm sorry if you hear that. Some guy is calling him back. Anyway, so yes. Well, I'm damn. What the fuck are they doing over there? Anyway, this next game is against Tottenham Hotspurs in the White Hart Lane, which is also the North London Derby. So hopefully, we will be able to knock them out. I don't know what place Tottenham Hotspurs is, but whatever place they're in, hopefully we drop them points and hopefully we can win this game because last time we played them was in the FA Community Shield, where we ended up unfortunately losing. 2-0 I think it was. I know Kagawa scored and I forgot who the other person was that scored. But yeah, fortunately, hopefully we don't freaking like, hopefully we don't lose this game. And hopefully we actually get three points and we are able to drop off. We're able to drop Mr. Tom Hotspurs. But as you can see here, also, yeah, so you can see here, I'm going to set up my team. Hector Bellerin ended up getting a red card. Why did he get a red? I think he got too much yellow cards, and that's why. I think he acquitted too many yellow cards. But anyway, here we go. The North London Derby. Before I forget, let me put this to normal because fast was way too much. But 
Okay, it is already normal. That's good. Anyway, here we go. Spurs versus Arsenal. Let go. Hi, Martin Tyler. Is that Vertonghen? See, I keep getting the confused because they have three Belgium defenders, for God's sake. Vertonghen, I was the wheel, and what was the other guy's name? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Here we go. Arsenal versus Chelsea. I mean, Chelsea. Arsenal versus Spurs. But here comes Spurs getting some kind of attacks. Zoko, the number 17, new former Newcastle man. Sees options. He cannot pass it because he, I don't know what he's doing. Zoko is still holding the ball. Pass it off to Victor Wanyama. Wanyama off to Eric Dyer. Dyer, no, no. Kashoni, get that. No. What? How? Okay, please, it's just, no, please, just, just the yellow, please. A red card, are you fucking kidding me? So we get a red card already, but it doesn't matter because Ozil scores in the, I'm not quite sure what minute that is, the 85th minute, five minutes before halftime, which is really great because I feel like I've been dominating this game. And he does his signature celebration. I keep forgetting what that celebration is called on the top of my head. But yes, Arsenal are leading here, but look at this. Lacazette, he's always involved in some goals. Pass it off to Ozil. Ozil just strikes it with his right foot. His weak foot, his right foot. And we make it. Two. I mean, one nil. Hope, thankfully, we fucking won. Because look at us. We have more shots, more possession. We fit way better. And unfortunately, Kashona did get a red card. So I had to play this. The, the four, two, three. <laughs> For some reason, I had to play that. But who got mad of the match? I'm really sure Ozil got mad in the match, but you can't see the little ball beside his name because Kashoni's right there. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure Ozil got mad in the match, but you just can't see the ball, the little yellow ball beside his name because, uh, yeah, <laughs> because freaking Kashoni's is in a way. But yeah, so we knocked off, we knocked off Tottenham Hotspur. So hopefully we drop points for them and hopefully we go up. Oh, well, we can't see that in right now because because we now have this game against Liverpool, which is first round of the EFL Cup against Liverpool. What the fuck? Anyway, LNA wants to play the next game. Well, he doesn't really want to play the next game. He just wants to play more games, which, I mean, it's kind of understandable because there's a lot of midfielders that haven't really been playing that much, like LNA or Coughlin. Coughlin. So, yeah, those two, those are two midfielders that I haven't really been playing that much. And look at this. Our defender, Doug, dug out, whatever his name is, got up to a 65, and LaFont got up to an 83, so it is all going millhouse. My training is going millhouse. But look at this, we played Liverpool in the first round of the EFL Cup, which is not good to be honest because we play a big team already in the EFL Cup. But before we get into this game, I uh, want to check where we are on the table because I'm pretty sure we, we had to go up from due to that win. We... I believe Spurs were like first or second, so if we drop them now, hopefully they're lower us than they're under us now. And as you can see, they're Bayer Leverkusen. They win the UEFA Super Cup. That's what it's called in real life. And this cup is called the Copa Europa, some shit like that. Okay, Crystal Palace in a Champions Cup. What the fuck? They beat Celtic. They're in first. What the? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Alan Pardew, eat your heart out. Oh, okay. So we are. And fifth, but Spurs are in fourth, and Everton are on top of the table with Murder Side Blue. <laughs> yeah, they're in the top of the table, but we are leveled in the same points with Mid Middlesbrough. I didn't even notice that. What the hell are Middlesbrough doing up here? I didn't even notice Middlesbrough. I was so entertained by freaking Everton being first that I didn't even notice Middlesbrough. But yeah, uh, yeah, so look at this, man. We only got three days later, and then we play the game against. Uh, Sunderland, which I'm gonna sim, and then we play the game against Bakhtar Moscow, which is gonna be next episode, but Kashone did get injured, I mean not injured, Kashone did get a red card, a suspension this game, so I might have to, I'm gonna play Gabriel because he is my, our next best defender, I would play Murder Saka, but to be honest, I don't really like Murder Saka, I don't really like playing with Murder Saka, he's just too big, man, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but he's like, too tall and too slow for me for my style of play yeah i just just say that yeah i just bullshitted that but i'm kind of probably play a little bit of a rotation side here i'm not gonna play my strongest side here apart from hazard hazard is gonna start this game which is okay gibbs where is gibbs at uh... oh he's all the way over there okay so we're gonna play rodriguez instead of gibbs now gibbs instead of rodriguez sorry but yes, this is a that is a starting that is eleven men that I'm going to be playing against Liverpool. Hopefully, we get the job done, no matter what team we have. And no matter, it is an, it is another home game, so we've had all home games apart from the Spurs game. But hopefully, the home advantage helps us. 
But it looks like, I'm not quite sure what player that is they're playing, but it looks like they're going to play a rotation side as well, but hopefully they do. Here we go, Arsenal versus Liverpool. Oh, I keep pressing start on accident, god damn it. It's cup tie time in the English League Cup. Cup tie time. I can sense the extra buzz amongst the supporters as we came into I can season. also feel the extra buzz amongst the supporters, Mr. Martin Tyler. Arsenal! Oh boy! We are top of the league. You know, that's a promise right there. If we, fit, if we win the league, I will play that song, okay? That would be my song. We are top of the league. Anyway, here we go. Arsenal versus Liverpool. And here comes Jaka Jaka looking for options. You can not see he passes it all the way down and like I said, like I said, Pat sees Dembele open. Also, also made Dembele in the box. He's looking for options. Pass it off to Lenny. And look, he scores! Okay, brilliant. Eleni, I don't know if you remember, but he also emailed me and said, Hey boss, can you play me? I'm sick and tired of not playing. And look at what he does when he gets his finally a chance to play. But nothing to give away from that assist from Dembele. He marks out Eleni from there and then just scores it. But here comes uh, Gabriel, Gabriel, pass it off to Kashoni. Oh, that was meant for Gibbs, but whatever. Oh no, Daniel Sturridge took it away. Daniel Sturridge took it away. Oh, that's, yeah, it's alright, it's alright. Coughlin, off to Gibbs. Gibbs off to Cle. Oh no, no, no. I almost had Cliche as well. No, they scored. Oh. Daniel Sturge is a deadly striker and he just scored against us. 1 1. Anyway, we did get a penalty due to from a dirty challenge on Ian Hazard inside the box, but he scores it. Like, what a beautiful penalty, Lacazette. Take a bow, my son. That was a beautiful penalty from Alexander Lacazette. Dr. Zeddy the Machete just scores it. Top bins. Nothing the goalkeeper can do about that. Karius. Nothing Karius can do about that. And there's a freaking car outside that's making a lot of noise. So hopefully that doesn't pick up here. But what a beautiful penalty from Dr. Zed. And that is the final goal of this game. And we ended up winning. We had more position. Man, I feel like I'm dominating right now, man. And Lenny gets mad at the match as well. But to be honest, I feel like I'm freaking dominating these games, man. I'm doing so well in these games. Anyway, Wimbledon beat Bournemouth, Charlton beat Sheffield Wednesday, and Hull City beat Manchester City. Leicester City beat Scrundage United. But now, if you, if you need a reminder, we are currently in fifth spot in a, in a table. Match is scheduled to get Stoke, so hope a uh, Koshoni suspension is over. So the match, the match thing, the little match reschedule is probably because we have qualified to the next round of the EFL Cup. Hopefully we don't get as bad of a, uh, as strong as a side than we did against Liverpool because that if we do, then that's going to be, you know, oh well, we, we, I'm starting in March right now. But anyway, our next day will be against Sunderland here. I will play a not, a not my strongest side. I will play like a little rotation side. I'm probably going to play my beast squad. As well because I feel like some of my players will be tired. <clears throat> and plus I need to rest some of my players too. Because like two days after this game against Sunderland. We will have to play freaking Spock Tower Moscow. In a Champions Cup. So that doesn't really help our odds does it. But yes. Yeah, so we're going to play this game. Well we're not going to play. We're going to send this game against Sunderland. And hopefully we get three points. So we can go up to the table. And probably continue this winning streak. Well not a winning streak. Because we only won like two times. But yeah. So hopefully, I don't know where Sunderland is at, and I really don't give a shit where Sunderland are at. So hopefully, we win this game, and we get three points, and we... It's a home game, so of course it's a home game. We have to win. Come on now. Even if we're playing... Yep, 3-1. Oscillate, Chamberlain, Lucas, Paris, and Santi Cazola. Santi Cazola has been impressing me so far. So maybe I might take him out of the transfer list, because... He is on a beautiful form right now. I don't play him as much as I did last season. But if he plays like this, like he always does, no matter what his age is, I believe he's 34 or somewhere around there, 34, 33. If he keeps playing like this, I'm definitely going to keep playing him because he is playing, no matter what his age is, he keeps playing beautiful. Anyway, uh, no players goes up yet, so yeah. Anyway, so this this is probably going to be the end of this episode. Next, next as you can see there, next game we're going to play is back to our Moscow in the Champions Cup. And we are current. Oh, all the, everybody drew in this cup. Damn, everybody drew in the league. I mean, not in the league. Everybody in this round drew. And Ramsey has come back from injury, which is really well. Eden Hazard wants to play the next game. Calm your tits, Eden Hazard. I'm gonna. I was gonna play you next game anyway. Anyway, so as we can see here, what teams will we be playing next round? We were playing Bakhtar Moscow in the group stage again. Newcastle United. 
uh, nobody cares about the international friendlies. Watford and also Inter Milan. So I'm probably going to send the game against Inter. I'm Watford. This is it. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and bye.